also a friend of mine has one of these robot lawnmowers. Every once in a while, it'll just start itself up and come out and start mowing. <laughs> and it knows where to go because there's wires under the ground to keep it on the lawn. Got some sticks to pick up out here. Anyway, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's very random on the way it cuts. Like it was just over here a second ago. And it just cuts a little bit at a time. It doesn't mow. It mows more often. See now it sensed the edge. Turf bot. Guess these are popular in Europe. I think this robot is confused. It kind of just does whatever. It has a, a GPS. Yeah. So it knows where it's been. Really? Why doesn't it do a more realistic pattern instead of this? I know. It's just that... <laughs> it... It's so random. It's just going all over the place. Well, it wouldn't be a grazer if he... That's true. <laughs> I guess it knows what it's doing. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. It's no rhyme or reason to any of the patterns it's doing. But if it's got GPS, it knows what it's already done. Can't even hear it. Now, if I get close to it, it'll stop and it won't hit me. Very random patterns that it's doing, as you can see. Uh-oh, hit a bump. Uh-oh, he... He hit the tree root, I think. So anything it doesn't get, a guy comes out and does trimming. Or you can do the trimming by yourself. Okay. So it just rained about an hour or two ago. It does a good job, keeps it trimmed. They don't have to do any mowing. So this thing cost $35 a week to, I guess you rent them, and the guy will come out and trim whatever it doesn't uh, get. It'll trim around any place that needs to be trimmed that this thing will miss. It does a pretty good job. It gets a, pretty much everything. So... This company runs about $35 a week. Which is cheaper than having a lawn service come out 
every week. So that's an option if any of you are looking for a lawn mowing service. Check it out. I don't know what that was. Well, it must have hit a stick. So uh, check it out. Maybe it's worth it to you. So I've been told that this thing will come out maybe twice a day for maybe two hours every day. It goes and charges up and comes back out. And he says the only thing you got to be careful of is before you back out the cars, make sure it's not behind or under the car passing through to the other side of the lawn. And the charging station is on the side of the house over here. I'll take a look at it. There's the docking station. It just drives up and plugs in. Pretty cool. That's the future. So yeah, it does the whole lawn. And the lawn does look nice, so it does a good job. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. Going to town. And there it is. Docked in its station charging.